shooting through the air at Mach 6. That's six times the speed of sound, or 5,800 kilometers an hour. Compare that to the most sophisticated passenger jets. A Boeing 777 takes about six hours to fly from New York to Los Angeles. The Concorde could do it in two and a quarter, but the Wave Rider in just 46 minutes. Of course, any human being accelerating to Mach 6 risks blacking out, going blind temporarily, or breaking bones under the pressure. And lift off. Space shuttle astronauts managed Mach 27 with very specialized protection, but the pilotless wave rider is really for military use, not your family vacation. Not yet, anyway. It's considered the new stealth. If the U.S. can't hide from advanced radar, it just needs to go faster than enemy defenses. It's not so much an issue of needing to compress a travel time from three hours to one hour. It's more the ability to defeat uh, an interceptor that may fly very nicely at Mach 1 or Mach 2 and may do very nicely against targets at those speeds but can't handle something faster. Today's secret of flight began with the X-51A, that's its official name, strapped to the wing of a big bomber. In the two previous tests, the drone made it to Mach 6, but crashed after less than 50 seconds. In short, they've still got some work to do, and forget about getting to England in less than an hour for a while. We're not going to be able to build economical planes that can go this fast for a very long time, maybe another half century. But in terms of specialized purposes to get 50 or 100 pounds of explosive through a defense, that could be a different story. The Americans are also experimenting with a plane that can do 20 times the speed of sound, reaching anywhere in the world in about an hour. But tests keep ending quickly with crashes. By the time this technology is mastered, we may all be doing it the Star Trek way. Ready to beam up, Jim. Energizing. David Coleman, CBC News, Washington.